revealed by The Guardian today that the NSA are using the Patriot Act to force Verizon to turn over the details of all calls, text messages, user locations and internet use of their customers to the government. The Patriot Act was signed into law by George W. Bush in 2001 and it stands for United Nations. that the Patriot Act is indeed legitimate despite the public's passion against the act that is interpreted as an attacker of the citizens' liberties. Looking back at the reason why this act happened in the first place because of the terrorist attacks in 9-11, the government has a duty to protect the citizens of America, or else there is the introduction of pandemonium, or at least instability in our country. Upon the formation of the Patriot Act, according to an article in the Capitol Times, there is a complementary act called the Security and Freedom Enhancement Act, that is designed to address the worst excesses of the Patriot Act. A U.S. Senator, Russ Feingold, stated that the SAFE Act takes the right approach. It permits the government to conduct necessary surveillance, but only within a framework of accountability and oversight. It ensures both that our government has the tools to keep us safe, and that the privacy and civil liberties of innocent Americans will be protected. Feingold is particularly gratified that this bill fixes some of the problems identified when the Patriot Act was passed. Sneak and peek searches, the need for reasonable limits on the FBI's use of roving wiretaps, and access to business records were issues he first raised in the fall of 2001, as some of the reasons why he believed that the Patriot Act was flawed and threatened fundamental constitutional rights and protections. The point is that as of April 2005, they have already established a complementary act. Benjamin Franklin once stated that those who are willing to sacrifice their freedom for protection neither deserve it nor will have it. During the American Revolution, our founding fathers knew that with every ounce of power we give our government, we lose our freedom. The more power we allow the government to have over American citizens, the lesser freedoms the citizens have. If the people continue to allow the government to have power over its people by passing and practicing acts such as the Patriot Act, without protesting, without rebelling, or at least without actively questioning the legitimacy of such acts, the government may become our citizens' worst fear. It may become a government of greed without the interest of the people it is supposed to protect. As a result, the Americans, American citizens will have lost the freedoms that Franklin refers to. America has always used its internal fears to respond to conflicts. When fighting against the Japanese in World War II, American citizens of Japanese descent were taken from their homes and put into internment camps until the war was over. The action clearly is an indicative of a government that offers freedom to its citizens. They were searched, some were even tagged. No one knew if they were going to be deported or how long they would be in prison because there were no trials, no hearings, and there was no due process. This action is indicative of a government that insists on supreme control over their citizens. During the Cold War, McCarthy, a po politician, would baselessly accuse different politicians of being communists. 
Upon discussing the Patriot Act, how can we not reflect on the heinous acts of 9-11? We've all seen the news images of the of two of the world's biggest buildings light up like candles. Firemen covered in dark ashes as they frustratingly search for survivors, bodies or for ways to put out the fires. When no one had answers as to why this happened and as to what America should do about this act, citizens such as ourselves did what every good American would do, question the government and their effectiveness in protecting the country. But now because of acts such as these, we now have to deal with a new level of control and destruction, the Patriot Act. Many of you may know the details of what the Patriot Act is or what it entails, but many citizens just like you either don't know or lack the energy to do something about the issue that is present. There lies the problem. The Patriot Act sends Americans every day into prison for indefinite or ridiculous lengths of time for simply expressing their opinion, not doing anything wrong, but because the government didn't appreciate the words that their prisoners spoke. Justin Carter, a professional video game player, made a harsh statement sarcastically. This is his story. While playing a video game, he said that he was going to go shoot up a school full of kids and eat their still beating hearts. He followed this message by saying that he was only kidding. This sarcastic comment placed him in jail for months with a $500,000 bail placed by an unknown person. I don't know about you, but to me that seems rather illegitimate. There was another situation where a mother was woken up by government agents flashing search warrants while crashing into her home and taking her 16-year-old boy to prison indefinitely. Apparently, he was accused of making bombs and having weapons. When the agents were done searching the house, nothing of the sort was found. To this day, he still sits in correction centers without contact with his family. As you can see, the Patriot Act is not only intrusive, but it also violates an individual's expectation of privacy. I'm gonna allow you to contemplate what's wrong with that.